Righto guys, how you going? It's Jamie here from Oztech Drones. So we're back again. This time we're with the uh, all new P100 Pro. So we're gonna go through on this video how to um, pretty much set up from scratch. We're gonna show you how easy it is now, how simple they've made it now to just get out there and pull the drone out of the truck and just start flying pretty much. So this will be from start to finish. We haven't turned any of the drone on. We haven't mapped any of the field out or anything like that. So we're gonna go through and show you how Simple it is now to get in the air pretty much. A uh, lot less mucking around than previous models. A um, <coughs> lot, lot less things that you have to set up. A, a lot easier to use, a lot user friendly. So what we've got here, we've got the Arc 3, that's the new controller. This one has actually been used quite well. You can see this is one of ours covered in paint from painting recently. We've also got one of the, the phone here as well. Some guys prefer a tablet. Some guys put a tablet on there for a bigger screen. Uh, it really depends on what you uh, what you prefer. But, you know, our guys pretty much, um, you, you hate carrying a big bulky thing around. Like 99% of our jobs are automated. So all they usually do is they just set go and then put it on the truck and, um, you know, mix or get batteries ready or something like that so you can use a tablet if you want so what we're going to do the controller here we're going to turn it on so on the bottom of the controller i'll just get that little bloody uh charging thing out of the way so you press and hold it until the lights on the top flash and then you press and hold again and then the controller will actually beep so when the controller beeps that means it's on um, and we're going to do the same with the drone as well that way so that we'll turn them both on at once so that that way the drone can start finding satellites and everything like that so that when we actually go to fly it'll be ready to go so turn him on press and hold to the battery flashes and then same with the other battery on the other side as well so press and hold it until it flashes and then press and hold again so the batteries have to be within 10% of each other. You can fly with just one battery as well if you want, but you can only have half the load in it. So two batteries will, you can go up to the 50 litres. <coughs> so pretty much now, we've got the drone on, we've got the controller on. Um, they'll link automatically. You don't need to link them or anything like that. When we come out of the warehouse, they'll already be all linked. We do that before they leave our warehouse. Um, so you don't need to worry about that. Um, so pretty much, we'll just go to the phone now or your tablet, whatever you're using. So guys, now we're on the actual phone. So what we want to do is we want to choose the app. So you can see uh, it's XAG1, that's the app there. So we'll go onto the app. You can see that's where we are in the field and it's already picked up the, the P100 there in the field. If we zoom in and out, you can see that's a satellite map where we are. Um, <clears throat> so if we go to operation down in the middle there, we can see we've got a few drones there because we've been swarming, but we'll choose the drone that we're going to be used. So that's P100 Pro down the bottom right hand corner there. Now you can see there's a few things on the screen here. We've got, um, I don't know if you can see where I'm touching there. So we've got the, obviously the name of the P100. We've got the next symbol is the like the uh, how, how well we're connected to the drone. We've got full bars. VRTK is connected. Uh, we've got 98% battery. We've got 31 litres in it and we're zero metres away from where we are. So that's the main basic info of the actual drone. We can click on the photo of the drone and we go more into all the in-depth details on the drone, the satellite, the batteries, the spray system, the props and everything like that. But we're not going to worry about any of that. We're just going to, this video is purely just to show you how to set it up and go. So... <coughs> From standard now, we just set them in VRTK. You can set them up to a base station or a mobile base station. XAG have them as well. Uh, or you can set it purely just on GPS as well. VRTK is uh, XAG's new um, virtual RTK system. So we'll, we'll do another video on that as well. But uh, we're in that now, so that, that we're just going to keep it in that. So what we're going to do, we're going to mark a little field out. So we hit the go back to field, hit the plus button up the right hand corner there, hit new field. Now there's a few options you can mark out. See the bottom, down the bottom right hand corner here, we've got a few options. We've got the finger icon, we've got a drone icon, and we've got a remote controller icon. So you can mark it out with the finger, you can mark it out with the drone, or you can mark it out with the remote controller. Purely for this video, we're just going to mark it out with the finger. So we're just going to mark, press on the screen, like that. Going to mark a few points. Hit auto close. You can also, down the bottom left hand corner here where it says field boundary, you can also add obstacles in. So say if we want to add a little obstacle in the middle here. Or we can do no spray zones as well. So the drone will fly over it, but it just won't spray. So great for dams and, you know, headlands and stuff like that. So we're just going to save that. We're just going to call this test. Oh. <laughs> Oh. 
So now we're going to go back to operation. So you can see the field there, that little field that we did there. So now all we're going to do is click on it. And you'll see here it says the device is not RTK accuracy. Please perform an offset correction. So we will go through another video on how you can do this. But we've marked, well, I know that, you know, this will still be pretty accurate. So we don't need to do an offset correction. Um, you can do that if you press offset correction. You can fly the drone to that corner of that boundary and get it spot on. But we're not going to do that here because it, it you know, it'll still be accurate enough for what we're doing here. So now all we do is confirm. Now this here is where we set up our spray settings and also our root settings. So if we click on root settings here, we've got a few different options. Operation root, so that's that green line there. That's pretty much on the way to the job. So, you know, we can add in another point so it goes around a tree between us and those sort of things. It's always good, we find, to have the flight speed relatively fast going into the job. That way, you're not going to use more battery than you need to because it's going to be its heaviest you know that's the heaviest it's going to be so it's good to just get to the job and start spraying so it starts getting more efficient um, so that's also the flight height on the way to the job operation route that's what it's going to do in the actual field so five meters we'll, we'll keep actually we'll go a bit lower we don't need to go five meters here and we'll make it go flat out so you can see so you can see it's going to give you a warning when you go over eight meters a second obstacle avoidance may be hindered um, but in saying that the pros they do say that they can detect it at full speed but it is good to just use it as a backup um, so root spacing you can change you know how wide your swath widths are and everything like that we'll just go at I don't know, five meters will be enough for this you can change it you know your direction and everything you want to spray in um, we'll go out of that the advanced settings, so you can turn its rain following on, off, only when it's going to the job or only when it's in the job. You can change all that and the obstacle avoidance on and off. So that's a pretty much basic run through. So then we've got the spray settings on the other side here. So this will depend on, obviously, how much you've got, uh, how, how fast you're flying. So we're flying flat out there at a six meter swath. And we can do 46 litres a hectare there. So it's, these P100 Pros are pretty efficient now with the bigger pumps. And we can go, you can choose your droplet size as well here. So you can go, you know, from a 110 to a 500 micron droplet, very coarse. So XAG has always been really, really good with their droplet sizing and everything like that. So that's that. So we can go back out of that. And then all we do is we hit start operation there. So you can see there's a camera icon there as well. So you can see that's me standing at the front of it here. Um, you can go out of that as well, or you can click the actual camera and it'll point to the camera underneath it as well. So obviously if you're on a bigger screen, it'll be bigger. So very rarely do we actually use the, the cameras too much on them. Righto. So we'll stand back over here. So now if we want to start, all we're doing is start operation. Tick, tick. Yep. There's no one within 10 meters of the area. Go for it going to get quite dusty here so you can see now it's in the job starting to spray we've only marked a tiny little area so obviously it's not going to be super efficient in this So you can see what we can do as well, we can edit the actual, and while we're in flight, we can go more, we can edit the spraying parameters, we can go less, we can change the droplet size and everything like that while it's spraying. If we want to change the height or anything like that, all we can do is press hover, and then we go more, operational parameters, and then we can make it go higher, lower, faster, everything like that while it's still in flight. Uh, we can go, we'll just go resume. And then say, if we're coming up to, say, say for instance, there is a, um, 
you know, it'll if there is a tree in front of it, it'll go around it and keep spraying. But say, for instance, I don't know, you want to take over. So you just press anything on the actual controller like this. So what I've done is I've just touched the controller, the manual controller. And then you'll see here on the screen, you've got a few different options. You've got one, two, and three. So say, for instance, we go up over top of the tree. I'm manually flying this now. And I come down on the other side. Well, I've come, gone out of the field actually now, sorry. I'll go back into the field. But you can see on the screen there, now we've got one, two, or three. So you can choose where you want it to start again. So if I go two, it'll skip the road. If I go three, it'll go the start of that road. Or I go one, it'll just start where I am currently. So if I just go resume, go to operation, then it's going to start. So we've gone around that tree um, and it's just going to go to, to the, little, the next route that we've got there and then just start spraying. Just going around that little obstacle there. So we're finding as well with the P100 Pro, it's got its new motors, it's got its new props, it's got its floating props as well, which is a huge thing. And then they're, they're becoming a lot more efficient. Even though they're a bigger, bigger tank, they're more efficient, we're finding, than the standard P100s with the same batteries as well. So that's to do with the bigger, the bigger motors um, and the bigger props on it and the floating props. So the floating props we're finding is a huge efficiency increase, like a huge uh, battery, you know, saving thing. So um, we're, we're finding it really, really, really good actually um, with these new props and these new motors. It's becoming a lot more efficient. So what I might do, I might just bring it home there because it's no point being, it, bring, being out there. So I'm just going to say return to, return to home. You can see it's coming home now. I'm gonna act as if we've just, you know, sprayed a kilometer or 2K runs. Um, it's gonna come home. You'll see how, how smooth it is, you know, like how smooth these operations are now on its way home. They've also got a new function now, it's called a fast drop. So you'll see how quickly, you'll see how quickly it just descends. So it's not mucking around. Now it pulls up at the ground and then lands. That's so you can fill it up as quick, you know, you, you lose your efficiency when it's on the ground. So you want to get back out there and start spraying as quickly as possible. It'll slow the props down as well, so you can fill it up as quick as you can. Um, so all we would do now, so for instance, say if we had the guys here, they would fill it up. They could go again with these same batteries or they could swap them out, depends on what they're, what they're doing. We're just going to go again to simulate, yep, we've refilled it. So we're going to act as if, yeah, we've refilled all that. So all we're going to do is on the screen here, we're just going to go resume operation, tick, tick, next, and then it's going to go. So you don't have to mark out what, you know, what the next path or anything like that. It sorts all that out. It's smart. Um, It's a funny looking map, this one, but anyway, it'll do. So what it'll do too, a big thing with the new ones now is the efficiency, not on how they spray as much, but on how they spray the actual field. So for instance, if it, it's not too bad here, but because it's such a big, long, uh, such a small, tiny little field, but if we're doing 2K runs, and say so if it runs out here, for instance, I don't know if you can see where I'm marking on this screen here. If it runs out there, well, the drone won't go to there to respray. It'll actually start up at this next run up here, then spray down to that run, and then skip over to the next run because it knows it's more efficient. So it's not too bad on here, but if you're doing massive, big, long runs, it makes a huge difference. It's not, it's not flying all the way down, you know, a kilometre down the end of the field to start spraying. It's going to start at the the closest route that it hasn't sprayed, then spray that, and then come back and finish that little bit that it hasn't done. A huge efficiency thing, and, and that's where XAG's really excelled in the last few years, is, is getting that up to scratch. So you can see, um, where, where am I here? I can look at the camera there, I can also click on the actual screen and see the camera underneath, but we're not usually using that too much. It's more of a reference sort of thing, or if you're manually flying, you can you can do it. You can see those droplets as well, you know, how the 500 micron droplet is, is quite uh, effective. You know, you're not getting drift. 
you're getting a nice even co even coverage as well. So that's done there now, so it's coming home. It'll beep at us when it's coming home. Very good. So that's pretty much the, uh, the basic run through of how to set up a field, how to fly it, how to do an automated flight. Very basic now, very, uh, very a lot more user friendly. Um, so we're gonna go through a few more other videos other than this one, go through each individual part of that. Um, so yeah, that's a, a good little uh, how to do it from scratch sort of thing. Very good.